So we're going to do the Malian that uh, prediction Chen have to just the week. Mm, let's set the surface. And we need to check two line from the ISO curve to here. Go and find a big turn. Plug directly into here. Set the number to zero. These two curve here, two lines along here. Now I want to define the fin. Let's go to curve, curve fin. Let's go here. And this go here. And let's go parameter to control the number of frames that we can have. Nature. Open limit. You can see that there are a lot of frames here which you can control along this UV line which is the first line on this plane so now I want to divide this plane into the to a surface that we can use the lines so we go to uh, curve ISO curve again and we try to get a get this curve surface here and this time we want to take this vector plug in and uh, the number of this one okay okay you can see that I divide this plane into x and y you know this line here which is going to loop now I want to find the geometry to loops over here go to X form get oriented and uh, now we need to draw a section which we have this line here which is our section curve um, what we want to do is we um, put the parameter curve define curve this is the curve here. So the section plan, base geometry. It should be here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This will be here. Um, similar, you should do the same for the other one. This will take here. Yep. You look at the model now, we can see that. Uh, we have this section, which is the section here in jaw under here, on the on the axis of the frame that we defined it here. And uh, we're going to loop this thing along this line here, uh, this ISO curve line here. So we go to surface, surface loop, swap. Uh, from here, we would have to get our wheel curve and a section curve. So let's define our curve. Um, this will be the real curve, and we have the section curve. Section curve. Copy it. So um, to get the first set of this section to sort with it. So we have this is a section curve. The wheel curve is here. Wheel curve on the V and the U and uh, the section curve here. Yep. Now we are ready to loop them. Uh, let's get a uh, this thing. Speed list. Uh, go to the first list here, set the integer 1 continue changes yep so 
so um, let's see whether the curve here is correct okay this are uh, this curve okay should be like this yep I'll go here okay and then um, what I want to do is loop them section curve curve this speed the curve and this speed this curve this be correct or what do you think oh shit real curve shit this is here this is here ok we got our first curve here now let's go faster be very careful what which one is supposed to go where so that we don't build up too early. Uh, we want to get a surface also. Surface and connect this here. Okay, now we have first sort. Okay, get our first sort here. We want to copy this set of parameters and make it a custom. Now use all this to create the rest of the curves. Oh, this is no longer necessary. Section curve, railing curve, and uh, because we did our listing just now, I'm not sure section curve, railing curve. Um, as long as we just put it, the list will continue and maybe correct. And it will be looped the next line as you can see here. So now I'll just copy all of this section curve, and curve. It's pretty easy after you have the first set, you can just copy and paste as many willing and set you wanted. So now this is complete. Let's do the lower one. Here, reading curve, section curve. Yep, and here we have our surface here with the grid according to section here. And uh, we can adjust uh, the number of parameter, the number of railing from this set here. And uh, that's what we are taught last week. Yep, thanks.